Extensive and intensive pressures are being mounted on the governor, Mai Malabroni, led Keteka and Extraordinary Planning Committee, CECPC, just as some stakeholders are mobilizing to ensure there is no imposition of candidates during the forthcoming National Convention of the Governing All Progressive Congress, APC. APC Legacy Awareness and Campaign, APC LAC, led by Mr. Ismail Ahmed, recently declared that no politician will be allowed to take undue advantage of the legitimate aspirations of members for a responsive and representative government. APC LAC, while reiterating the commitment of the Keteka Committee to address challenges bedeviling the party before the 2023 poll, assured our leaders are not in denial and are responding to the challenges. Our party APC is the only party in the country which leadership has acknowledged its internal problems and has initiated processes of resolving them. Thanks to the leadership of President Buhari, APC has been undergoing a deep-rooted rebuilding and repositioning process. A new leadership will emerge at the end of this process. Sources within APC disclosed that Bernie's Ketika Committee came under pressure to extend its tenure after Governor Ben Ayade joined the party, particularly given that the committee's tenure is built to expire by the end of this month. The Guardian gathered that some APC stakeholders from across the country are already working on the ground to prevail on both APC governors and President Buhari to endorse a fresh six-month tenure extension for the Bernie-led Ketika Committee. The body language of the interim committee shows it is favorably disposed to the tenure elongation clamor, as it is still keeping to its chest the plans and timetable for the conduct of his Congress and the National Convention. However, CECPC Secretary Senator John Akba Nudo Dehe, penultimate week, described those peddling such speculations as political jobbers bent on undermining the party, even as he promised to communicate outcomes of the activities through official channels when available. He noted, we have never lied on our party activities and we simply have no reason to. The consultative party leadership style initiated by Governor Mai Malaburini as chairman of the Keteka and Extraordinary Convention Planning Committee, CECPC, has institutionalized the APC as a party of processes and internal democracy. The CECPC is focused and is delivering its mandate to recover, rebuild and reposition the APC as well as achieve peace building through reconciliation and to give a sense of belonging to every member of the party. Yet, those pushing for tenure extension insist that there are still unfinished businesses despite inroads recorded in wooing top-notch politicians in Southeast and South-South geopolitical zones, including governors, Ayade, and Dave Umayi of Cross River and Emboin State. The Bonnie led committee is already persuading Governor Belo Matawale of Zamfara State to dump PDP and join APC ahead of the 2023 polls. Bonnie, alongside the chairman of Progressive Governors Forum, PGF, Atiku Bangudu of Kebi State, met with Matawale last month in Guaswa on the eve of the market fire incidents in a bid to actualize the objective. The move is coming against the backdrop of the defection of the former Deputy Governor of Oshun State, Senator Iola Omishore, and former Governor of Ogun State, Utumba Benga Daniel. The former Speaker of the House of Representatives, Mr. Yakubu Dugara, the Senator representing Adamawa North Senatorial District, Elisha Abo, Member of the House of Representatives, Dante Yako from Kano, Senator Issa Haman Miswa, the former Deputy Governor and one time Governor of Adamawa State, James Bala Ingil Larry, the Professor Mama Tahi led APC Constitution Review Committee which is yet to turn in its report, is being cited as another plausible reason why the bonnie led committee deserve an extension in the office. The committee, which had toured the country's six geopolitical zones and held meetings with party stakeholders, is built to hold a retreat where submissions from across the country will be reviewed and endorsed. Mamam explained that the constitution review exercise was aimed at strengthening the party ahead of the 2023 general elections. Governor Abdullahi Ganduja of Kanu State, who applauded the initiative, expressed optimism 
that challenges affecting the party will surely be addressed at the end of the exercise. He said APC is a mixture of political parties that have merged to form the ruling party, but this lack of strong cohesion still affects it. There is no better time to revise the constitution than now because it is time to look back and face the challenges of the party. APC as a political party has won many states of the federation since its inception. It has controlled the federal government for four years now. In the second term, we lost some states in last election. We won some too. Revising the party's constitution is the way to correct the mistakes of the past. I believe that in the end, we will come up with a document that will govern the conduct of party members and even the conduct of party leaders. So, we believe this constitutional review will address all challenges. This will remove all those appendages from the meeting to form the party. Ongoing effort to tidy up the party's membership registration and revalidation exercise have been regarded as a step towards giving a sense of belonging to every member of the party. The Jigawa State Governor, Alaji Bandura Bubaka, chairs the 61-member strategy and contact committee. He disclosed that no fewer than 36 million supporters of the party have so far been registered in the nationwide exercise. Director General of Voice of Nigeria, Vaughn, and APC Chieftain Mr. Osita Ukechuku expressed satisfaction with the performance of the Bonnie Committee, he said. On the assessment of His Excellency, My Mala Bernie's Ketika Extraordinary Convention Planning Committee, it is like assessing a rehabilitation team after a major inferno in a market. Accordingly, one can rate their rehabilitation performance on the scale of excellence. For example, if the thorny issue of Zamfara and other flashpoints could be reconciled, it means that our political machine is ready for the electoral battles ahead. CECPC's reconciliation exercise is worthy of note and it took them months to crisscross the length and breadth of our dear country following the devastation and dislocation of extant party structures by Comrade Adams' socialist regime. We must thank them for the enormous reconciliation exercise and encourage them to do more before they exit. Secondly, is the establishment of the National Data Registration Bank. Today, the CECPC has established a data bank, though not biometric, but a reliable instrument for party management. This is what our national leader, Asewaju Bola Ahmed Tinubu, intended to bequeath us in 2013. At our inception, this was truncated by our sister political party, the PDP, out of phobia. Thirdly, the amendment of APC Constitution. Amendment of our constitution is one of the major achievements of My Mala Bernie and Co. For there are certain sections which changes is imperative as a result of practice. At the end of the day, the CECPC has performed and this will be better rated when a new executive takes off. Strong indication emerged that APC will not conduct its national convention next month when the tenor of the Ketika Committee is billed to expire. The caretaker committee secretary, Dr. James Akbanu Do Dehen, who fielded questions from reporters at the APC National Secretariat in Abuja, explained that the convention may not hold due to the appalling security situation in the country. He said, We have a lot of problems in Nigeria, not only the Congress, that are the problems of Nigeria. Now we have serious security challenges. We have agitation in the southeast, southwest, and all that. We are very conscious of Nigeria as a country, not only the Congress, the information at our disposal you might not have. We are in position to know what you don't know. We are in a position as leaders to direct, to help this country to grow. We are mindful that our party must be strong. We just welcome the governor of Cross River State, assuming they are Congress. How will you accommodate him? We are also doing a lot of things you might not be aware of. But we rest assured that the overall interest of the party is paramount. Ruling out the possibility of an outbreak of crisis to protest further delay in conducting the national convention, the party scribe stated, There are no crises in our party. Convention can be done in June. Congresses can start in June and end in June. It depends on what leaders of the party agree upon. Do not bring speculations. This committee is honest. We have never lied to members. For instance, now, like we're coming to brief you, if you have a problem in your family and you are trying to solve it, will you come and tell them, tell the public that you are fighting with your mother or your father, or you are doing this or that, family issue is family issue. 
He disclosed that the membership registration and validation exercise had been concluded, adding that the committee saddled with the conduct of the exercise has turned in collated results from 21 states of the Federation. The CECP's position implies that President Buhari in conjunction with key stakeholders of the party will prevail upon to grant another six-month extension for the Bonnie-led committee. Conversely, a group of concerned APC faithful led by Abdullahi Dawda had in December last year faulted the continued extension of CECPC tenure, arguing that it was a breach in the party's constitution.